All right, so I had to leave the hospital. Um, they had me waiting for, for the people that, you know, I thought I was just gonna walk in and, you know, one of the doctors was gonna remove these things. Uh, these, 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 these inlet. Look at this, look at this. I feel like I, I have, I, I mean, you know, for a broken jaw and, you know, think of this, right? I broke my jaw when I was 21. And when I broke my jaw when I was 21, my jaw was over there. My jaw was like, like over, all the way to the left. Right now, I really don't feel, I mean, I feel some pain in, 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 in this side of the jaw, but I don't really feel that I need this kind of like metal in my mouth for six, for four or six weeks. So, the thing of it is, I'm worried that they did this for either one or two reasons. One, because I, I bad mouthed them really bad when, when, they, when, they had, when, they, when they had me in there uh, for, in the psych ward. I mean, really bad. Number two, to get money for my insurance because the, the, one, the other technique is just basically, and this was my job was all the way to the left, right? The technique was put, put screws on, 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 on these top teeth, and uh, excuse me, uh, put uh, um, wires on these teeth, wires on the bottom of teeth, and then put rubber bands around to keep it shut. And you know what? That worked pretty well when I was 21. I don't understand what this, this, all this in the middle, and uh, hucking it off on top of the bottom that's fucking irritating me and really, really causing a lot of pain. I don't understand why this was necessary. So, um, I left because they, I was there for like an hour and they did nothing. I, I had to wait. I said, well, what, 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 what do I do in the meantime? I'm, it's just painful. They go, oh, well, you can get some, uh, some, uh, some, uh, dental wax for the, for the, for the, for the pain. That, that these sharp little, these little, little <laughs> dead end wires now that cut, are cutting into my, the inside of my thing. You can, and, and then she gave me some, some, some shit for nausea, which, which I tasted disgusting and I spit it out. Um, the, the nausea was coming from these things, these metal things in my mouth. Uh, I'm not sure, I'm not sure why they did this to me, but vengeance or, or, um, because I don't know, something about New Jersey, everybody's, everybody's getting their, their, their licks out on me right now. Everyone. So I don't really trust hospitals. I never did. Tell you the truth, if I wasn't unconscious that day uh, that, that, that I got mugged, I, I, wouldn't have, I wouldn't have went to the hospital. Because I don't like the Jersey, I don't like hospitals, period, man. I was forced because I woke up in the hospital. And like, I woke up in the hospital and... How did I get here again? What do you want to do? Okay. All right. So I guess it's like, you know, like I got there when I was 21. And all of a sudden, now I found fucking like, there's like four holes in my gums, top and bottom, and screws, metal screws in them. I said, is, is when you take these out, this is going to heal? Said, oh, yeah. The bone will, re, will reform after a while. I'm 58 years old. How about the bone doesn't reform? So right now, I'm really upset. So I couldn't stay there. I said, I'm, I'm, I'm going I'm to leave. Uh, I'm going to see a lawyer or something. I'm going to see somebody because right now I don't think this procedure was necessary. Because the way I'm feeling right now, um, I mean, it, it hurts. My jaw hurts a little bit, so, but some pain and maybe some like, you know, maybe a night, a night kind of like thing that, that I keep it tight uh, would work fine without having the torture that I'm under right now with these things in my mouth. So I've just left the hospital. I'm gonna go to Walgreens here and uh, see if I can get that dental wax. And then I'm gonna go back to my tent and try to sleep because I was up doing some videos and I was up uh, because I couldn't sleep. Because these things are fucking annoying. And no, I don't wanna take the opioids that they gave me. Because they gave me opioids, they gave me uh, the opioids, what else they gave me? They gave me some amoxicillin. Uh, I don't like taking uh, 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 antibiotics, and I don't like taking uh, uh, over the counter, uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, uh, fucking, you know, their version of, of, of dope. You know, I don't want to take pharmaceuticals. 
and they forced me. I had like five medications that, I, that, they, that they, they put me on that I, that I took the first day, and I felt like shit yesterday. Like shit yesterday, I felt. So I don't want to take any of that stuff. Uh, so now I got these things. I don't know what to do. I'm probably gonna go. I don't know. What to, I don't know what to do now. I'm gonna see if they call me back. I'm gonna see if I can call a doctor that that, that they, they 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 tell me I was supposed to uh, call about these things, removing them, and see if he can remove them. Uh, but I don't want to be back in that hospital because I don't really trust those people, man. If I if I if I if I like if I like you know you know caught them caught them on on the uh, you know trying to get my insurance trying to you know hike up the 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 the. the, the their visit to a to a, to an operation that was unnecessary. Uh, I'm gonna be pretty pissed, man. And they'll be pretty pissed. And you know, I don't want to. I was under anesthesia. I was cold out for I don't know how long. I don't know what the fuck they did to me. Do you understand? I didn't. I didn't know these screws. I thought there was gonna be like one or two screws. Not fucking like there's four on top and four on the bottom. This shit is hurting my fucking mouth right now. Stopping me from doing things that I want to do. So, um, I had to leave. So, I'm gone. I'm, I'm outside. My Walgreens. I'm going to buy the, uh, the wax and, then, and try to figure out what to do next. If anybody out there knows of a, uh, of a doctor that, that's more sensible than go to, or knows of a, uh, a lawyer that I can talk to that would uh, maybe see this as a, as a malpractice, because uh, honestly, um, I don't believe uh, my jaw was uh, broken uh, enough uh, to do what they did. Say to me, they were gonna do a whole bunch of like, oh, we're gonna put you under, do some surgery on you, like, get the get the get the whole jaw reconstructed. Now, and again, I remember when I was 21, my jaw, uh, it was like, imagine this, the bottom jaw, all the way to the, all the way to the right. That and that was a lot of pain. That's not what I felt on Monday. That's not what I felt when I first got there. And then and then and on Sunday or whatever it was. And then and then and then and then you know, Slayer talked me into this shit. And I was under for God knows how long on anesthesia. I don't do anesthesia. Anesthesia is fucking deadly. That shit is fucking I, I, there's warnings about anesthesia. If you don't have to take it, don't take it. And they put me under. I don't remember a thing that they did when I was under. They could have done anything. So, um, as you can see, I don't trust, uh, I don't trust a lot of people anymore. Uh, I, I really don't trust the medical profession. Not at all.